So all the computers have been set up to work with the tablets. Uh, and I always recommend that you use a tablet and get into the hang of things. And one of the things you want to do is place the tablet right in front of the computer. So you're not drawing on the side, you're sitting square and you're... So one of the things I, in this tutorial, what you're doing is you're going to try to trace a photo. Now, it's kind of cartoon, so it doesn't have to be identical, but it should have the semblance of what the character was that you selected. So I've imported this photo, I've unlocked it, as you can see. And now I'm going to create a, a, a new layer. But before I create a layer, I'm going to lower the opacity on this so that I don't like, don't get it confused with my actual drawing. Now what I'm going to do is create the new layer. And then you see how I have uh, currently red as the color. Probably I'm better off with black. And so what I'm going to do is go over here and turn on my brush. Before I start drawing, I'm going to make sure that I have the hard round brush and I'm gonna go with maybe three or something and here's a trick you go here and if it's too small maybe it depends what you're trying to do you could go really thick you could say all right what for my design I want a thick line because the way it's gonna look is gonna I'm gonna go with that one let's say that's thick and I'm gonna give you a little trick with the brush so on the pad, when you put your when you put the thing down on, it will draw. Okay, and so I'm moving it, and now I'm not touching the thing. So, uh, so yeah, it's way too thick. So I'm gonna just go Command Z, and I'm gonna use the bracket tool. If you remember the bracket, look open bracket, close bracket. You guys probably know this. Some of you are new, so you don't. So uh, right now I'm drawing on a floppy thing, so it's. Now, there's a really important thing I didn't show you last year that you should have set up. So unless you're a really good drawing, but even if you are, I'm gonna tell you to have it at about 60 or 70, or even 80 if you're having a hard time. So what this does is it fixes for your hand that shakes. And you know, unless you're an Android or something, uh, your hand's gonna shake. So you click and you draw down, okay? And since the, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop at the Oops. elbow and take my, I take the pen off. Because if I screw up, let's pretend I go here and I screw up. Well, I can just go Command Z and I don't start <laughs> over, right? Now, a thing that's really useful here is Command Plus and press the space bar. Okay. And again, I went too thick here, but it doesn't matter because I'm just, so, so you can even go command plus more because you, you know what I'm going to, I'm going to just go here and you now maybe I want to go and finish the whole thing down here and go to, I, I should take my pen off soon in case I screw up. And then I'm going to go here and draw the, the thing. And maybe I'm going to make it look like he had more of a sleeve. And now see, I would redo that part, but command Z, command Z. I'm just gonna do this here. See, now I made a mistake and no big deal. You can go and fix it with the eraser tool instead of starting over. All right, um, why is it not working, eraser tool? Probably because I need to pick this on white. Uh, something else is going on. I'll uh, Probably some default that I changed. So let's just keep going. I'll go back to the brush. The hotkey is B, by the way. <coughs> Now, hands are treacherous, so stop at the hand. Let's pretend I'm happy with that. My line is way too thick. It's just terrible. Like, you don't want to make him look like he has cartoon hands. Like, it's going to look terrible. So, I'm just going to go quick just for the sake of the tutorial. So, like, I would not have gone with that thick. But you see, my hand's shaking like crazy, but it's pretty good. Now, I want to kind of talk about something else. Let's pretend I was do done him. Of course, I'm not. I know that. But the other thing, you could leave him line art. But if you recall from last year, I'm going to just show you a couple of things. The paint bucket tool. And maybe you want to have some, like, uh, flesh tones. And, you know, if you go under swatches, I believe there's flesh tones. And I'm trying to remember. Uh, import swatches. No. Nah. It's, it's in it's an illustrator so you what you can do is go here and then go down here 